This looks like a normal flash drive, but when I plug it in, it can pull saved browser passwords from any PC in seconds. Chrome, Edge, Firefox, all of them. Inside this flash drive, you can see all the passwords inside this text document. And the crazy part? You can make this yourself in just a few minutes with your own flash drive. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this in under five minutes. Before we start, I need to clearly say that this is only for educational purposes. Use this knowledge only to learn ethical hacking. I am not responsible for any misuse of this information. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the video until the end. So let's get into the video. Let's get started. First, plug your flash drive into the computer, then download the web browser pass view software and put it inside the flash drive. If you open it manually, you can see all the saved details from each web browser, especially the passwords. Now I'm going to create a script that will extract these passwords into a text document automatically within seconds. To do this, first create a text document and paste this code inside it. We're using a VBS script for this. Let me explain step-by-step step what this code does. First, we start by creating a shell object. This object allows our script to open programs and send commands to Windows, which is how we control web browser pass view automatically. Next, we create a file system object. This object is used to create, write, and save files on the computer. Then we set the program name, in this case, web browser pass view. You only need to change it here once and the script will use this reference everywhere. We then run web browser pass view using the shell object and wait three seconds to make sure it has fully loaded. If your computer is slower, you can increase this delay. Remember the numbers in milliseconds, so 3000 is three seconds. After the program is ready, we send control plus A to select all the saved passwords. We pause briefly to make sure the selection happens properly and then send Control plus C to copy everything to the clipboard. Another short pause ensures that all the data has been copied successfully. Now we prepare the path for the output file. We create a variable and build the path so that output.txt will be saved in the same folder as this script. Since VB script can't read the clipboard directly, we use PowerShell to grab the clipboard content and store it in a variable. We then create or overwrite output.txt, write all the copied data into it, and close the file so it's saved properly. Finally, before closing the program, we bring web browser pass view to the front to make sure it's active, wait a tiny moment for it to be ready, and send alt plus F4 to close it safely. And that's it. Now you have all the saved browser passwords stored in output.txt, ready for review. Remember, if your computer takes longer to open the program, you can increase the wait time in milliseconds to ensure everything works correctly. Now save this as a VBS file. If you run this manually, you will see it collect all the details and save them into a text document within seconds. Isn't that crazy? Now we need to make this file run automatically when the flash drive is plugged in. To do that, First, download the USB Auto Run Creator tool. Then open the application and select the VBS file from here. After that, select your flash drive from here. Now click on the USB Drive button and finally click on the Create button to generate the Auto Run. If I unplug the flash drive and plug it back in, you can see the file executes perfectly. but there is one limitation. This auto run method only works if the target machine also has the auto run software installed. Otherwise, you can simply add an innocent wrapper and run it manually, or you can do something similar using a USB rubber ducky. This shows how fast a simple script can gather browser details from your own PC. 
Always protect your computer and never trust random USB drives. If you want more insane hacking experiments, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. We'll meet again soon. Goodbye for now.